Hey, what's up? Uh, I missed yesterday. It just went by really fast. Um, but today I'll talk about my yesterday. Um, because, as you'll see, it consisted of a lot of rearranging. Um, hold on, I gotta get my cat. It's eating my plant. It's an ongoing problem, and my poor plant is uh, just about dead. Um, anyway, so I rearranged my whole room yesterday. I spent about three hours straight after after a very long day, but I got home and I was like, this needs to change, and um, all, all of it's different now, and I'm a lot happier about it. So I just wanted to talk about um, interior design a little bit. I think that our immediate surroundings, all of our surroundings for sure, but our immediate surroundings, like the ones we go back to on a consistent basis, are really important for us to pay attention to because they affect your mind and your mind and your mind affects it in kind of in kind of the as above so below kind of way. Um you know, like, your mind creates your environment, your environment creates your mind, and it's this feedback loop. Um, if you are very aware, I think I was subconsciously aware of this, I was, like, aware that my room was not serving how my mind wanted to feel, like, there was some discord there, so that's it's why I so strongly just got home, I was like, oh, it's time for this room to change, because I think so strongly here, I was starting to feel something different and I think that's that I was needing more um, space like literal floor room like I'm needing more room to play in my brain and so I need to feel that in the room that I'm in as as well it was a little bit claustrophobic before um, and uh, which kind of goes with my mindset like it kind of makes sense like I just had a lot packed in and it maybe wasn't organized super well and so there wasn't a lot of room to move it was just um, keep going, keep going with what you got, keep going, just keep, keep going, and, um, finally I changed that last night, and my room feels a lot better, so, um, I don't need to make this a super long video today, I just wanted to ask you, uh, how many times, no, how, like, how, yeah, yeah, yeah how many times a year do you rearrange either your room or a room in your house, how often do you feel the need to, and do you do it when you feel the need or do you put it off? Um, yeah, and tell me about like what makes you want to change your room. Do you just feel like it? Is it always a functional thing? Do you wait till there's new furniture? Um, like for me, like there was no new furniture. Like I have exactly in my room what I had before. It just needed to be in a different order. Is it like that for you? Or do you only change when an external external factor comes in and, and um, makes it need to change? That's my question for you all. And if you never, if you are the kind of person who never changes, never rearranges your room, is it because you've never felt the urge to or is it because you've never thought it was important is it because it's too much work um is it because someone else won't let you is it because you don't have the time um is that something you think about at all what is the best way to arrange the things you have in a place